Hey Google Workspace admins, this is Goldie again. Welcome back to FAQ series. In this episode, uh, let me answer a question which I recently heard, which is, can you rename a user's email address? And not just the email address, but also the domain name. And the answer is yes, and let me show you how you can do that easily. So for that, number one, or the logistic item is if you go to uh, your admin console, accounts, domains, and if you look at overview of your domains, or maybe click on manage domains, uh, you will see all the domains that you have registered. Now, it, you shouldn't uh, be able to rename your user's email address, including the domain, if you have registered the secondary domain as an alias domain, because alias domain essentially it's not an uh, identity in itself. It's just a nickname of your domain. So make sure that you have registered your domain name as secondary domain because that allows you to create users on secondary domain, okay? So my primary domain is this one and then I have, let's say, secondary domain as 365. I have user on this domain. I want to rename that user to this domain, maybe there is uh, some you know internal change uh, within the organization which is making this a uh, requirement. So for that, let me go to one of my users. Let's say if I go to FLW1, as you see here, the user's email address is on this domain. So what I need to do is just click on uh, where is update user, click on that, and here just click on this and you will notice that you are not seeing any alias domains, only the domains that are registered here, uh, either as primary or the secondary domains. So I'll go ahead and click 365 and click on update user. And this user's email will now be updated. Okay, when I click done, as you see, if I do a one re click refresh, now the user's domain is changed. One more thing. By default, when you change the user's email address, Google by default retains uh, that user's previous email address just to make sure that if somebody sends an email to that old email address, that should not be bounced. So when I click on user information here, you will see that alternative email or the alias, this is the previous email address that this user had. If I want, I can delete it. If not, I can just keep it here. So I hope that uh, helped uh, with this question. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to go to goldierora.com slash FAQ. Submit your question. I'll be happy to answer if I can. With that, thank you so much. <laughs>